Welcome to Worship Today Online at Emmanuel United Methodist Church. My name is Ben Morris. I serve here as the pastor, and I'm so glad you have found us today for worship. Whether Emmanuel has been your church home for a long time, or you found us for the first time, looking for a good word of hope from the God that loves you so much. We'd love to know who is with us in worship today. In the comments of our video on YouTube, there's a link to our website. It's called a welcome card. It's a way for you to check in with us so that we can be in relationship together. Also in those comments, there is a prayer card, another link to our website. So please let us know if we can be in prayer for you this week. Friends, we have been in our stewardship series. This is the final week for us. Gratitude, prayer, faith, and commitment we have been building up to this week. Our scripture today is from Matthew's Gospel. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Listening for those ways, friends, that God is inviting us, not just in, in finance, but how are we committed to the kingdom values in which God wants us to be a part of the arrival of the kingdom of God here on earth. I'm so glad that you are with us as we continue to listen for that invitation today. Will you pray with me? God, we are so grateful for the gift of this day, for the opportunity to, to gather and worship together, for all those who make our online worship possible, for the music, for our editing team. We ask your blessing on this time as we listen for you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
Friends, thank you for all the ways you support the ministries of Emmanuel through time and talent and financial gift. We just had our Wednesday night Thanksgiving meal the week before Thanksgiving on November 16th, and we had all of our tables full, almost 80 people. It was a wonderful, uh, wonderful time of fellowship and food and uh, my goodness, just so grateful. Uh, a lot of familiar faces, but a lot of new faces of people who came to, to join us uh, for the first time. So we give great thanks for that, for all of the people who make that ministry possible through sharing their time and talent to, to cook and clean up, but also friends, those that support this ministry through their financial gifts. Thank you for all of the ways you are supporting our ministries during this time. Thank you if you were able to support us financially, if you're with us in person from time to time, or if you're sending gifts through the mail. I use our online giving, which is available through our website, emmanuel-umc.org, or there is the mobile app, the Vanco mobile app. It's available through your app store. You can use that on your tablet and your smartphones. Please let us pray over the gifts and all that we have to give thanks for this week. Gracious God, we have so much to be grateful for. The relationships that we continue to build, the many time and talents that we have seen, God, in, in ministry here, and the financial gift share to make these ministries possible. We ask your continued blessings on all of these things, that your Son, the Christ, may be a sign among us here at this corner of Meaden College. In his name we pray. Amen. Our reading of Gospel for today is from Matthew, the sixth chapter. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We conclude our stewardship series this week. Each week has had a different focus. We started with gratitude. We heard how gratitude language changes how we look at the world and all that God has done for us. Listening for God in prayer and how God calls us to be part of what God is doing around us. We learned that prayer is another one of those things that changes our brain and how we see the world. Last week we talked about faith. How our conviction in things not seen leads us to living out our faith in a visible way. All of these words have been leading up to this fourth week. And our fourth word, commitment. Commitment is a word that conjures up several different meanings. For some people, it may even bring up a negative definition or obligation, a burden. Those things that we feel we have to do. But definitions of commitment also include faithfulness, attentiveness, what are you faithful to? What holds your attention? I think our series of gratitude, prayer, and faith has been building towards a definition of commitment more akin to that. What holds your attention? Our scripture for this week is from Matthew's Gospel. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. These words storing of treasure in heaven are maybe a little too bonk bonk on the head for a stewardship series. Treasure equals money, right? <laughs> But there is a lot going on in this passage about what Jesus is inviting his followers to be a part of. 
what he says should be holding their attention. Treasure in heaven was a common Jewish phrase or image for reward in the afterlife. But Jesus doesn't exactly spell out for his disciples how to store up treasures in heaven. He kind of leaves room for their creative response in particular situations. The conversation becomes less about storing up treasure in heaven and more about attentiveness to the values of kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven values. Which we hear about that in the verses preceding our passage. These verses are kind of coming at the end of the Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus has been laying out for his followers what the kingdom of God will look like. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who mourn. All are blessed and all are seen by God. Commandments to love one's enemies, to be the salt of the earth, to be the light of the world, to give to the needy, to no longer live by the way of an eye for an eye, as you've heard it was said, to turn the other cheek. Our verses come towards the end of the sermon where Jesus is connecting living these kingdom values and the response of authentic worship. Where your treasure is, there your heart shall be. What we value in life will be determined, will be revealed by how we spend our time, our energy, what we treasure. If we value life, if we value love of God and people over anything and over everything else, these are the values of the kingdom of heaven. And our treasures are built up there. I appreciate the message translation of the last verse of our reading. The place where your treasure is is the place you will most want to be and end up being. The place where your treasure is, is the place you will most want to be. The point Jesus is really trying to make with his followers is that you can't divide your attention. You can't divide your commitment. Commitment and authentic worship can really only be made to one place. If there is more than one, every choice means favoring of one and rejection of the other. Where your treasure is, there your heart shall be. Jesus is really telling his disciples that you can't give God, your full attention, your full commitment, and serve something else at the same time. Through our series and the lens of stewardship, God is asking what we want to serve. What is the place that we most want to be through our time and our talents and our gifts? I think I mentioned last week a, a book, Generosity Rising, that our stewardship team at Emmanuel Church has been using. And the author, Scott McKenzie, writes, All of my core identity shifts when I acknowledge God as the source and giver of life, all that I have and all that I am. I think I might have shared this quote last week, but I think it rings even more powerful for this commitment week all that I have, and all that I am. A committed life is a core identity shifted. All that I have, all that I am. We are attentive to kingdom values that Jesus teaches through the Gospels. 
particularly those that are part of this larger Sermon on the Mount that our verses are a part of. We're committed to the values that have been a part of this sermon series. Gratitude, prayer, keeping our faith at the center in all things, believing that the God of the resurrection will continue to do a new thing. A committed life means that we're putting God first in everything because that is who we serve. As a kid, I loved going to church camp every summer. Swimming, Bible study, chapel. I loved all day, every day of it. In fact, when I was too old to participate as a camper, I would often go back and, and help serve as what they called a gopher. Go for this, go for that, serve lunch in the dining hall and clean up. But my favorite part of camp, whether I was a camper or serving, was at the end of every day we had a campfire. It was a big fire pit with benches all around it. There was room for everyone. And there was no sitting or standing on the fringes because there was room for everyone to have a seat, to be part of the group. To be part of the campfire, to be part of what God was doing, you, you joined the circle. To show you were committed to what God was doing during the week of camp, you joined the circle. It was a way to affirm that we'd heard from God during the day. To give thanks for the the baptisms in the swimming pool. You joined the circle as a sign that you were committed to what God was doing. It was the place you wanted to be. That's where your treasure was. As we conclude our stewardship series, friends, we are invited to join the circle as committed followers of Jesus, to be faithful and attentive to those kingdom values here on earth through all that God has given us, through all that we have to share. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for all that we've heard from you during this stewardship series. And, and let this continue to rest on our heart as we listen for you, for what you might be calling us to share through time and talent and financial gift in the coming year. For all that you have done for us, we give you great thanks and praise. In the name of Christ, amen.
Thank you for joining us for Worship Today Online at Emmanuel Church. So good to be with you. Next week, we begin our Advent worship series. It's called Decorating for Christmas, and we would love for you to be a part of it. We welcome videos or short stories of traditions that you enjoy. Maybe it's a special ornament that is a part of your Christmas tree or a tradition that you and your family just have to do every year when you're starting to get ready for the season. We would love to share that as part of our in-person worship service or our online. If you're here for one of our in-person services, we'll have a camera ready to film those after worship on a Sunday. Or you could send us a video, email me at wisconsinpastorben at gmail.com. It would just be a wonderful way for us to share stories together. And if you enjoy decorating for Christmas, we'll be doing our Hanging of the Greens here following worship on November 27th, the first Sunday at Advent. We'll have a big Christmas tree here and just it, I always love that Sunday in which we get ready for the Christmas season. Just a lot of energy and um, a lot of fun. As we go forth, may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.